Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about harmonic numbers. Uh, these are numbers that were uh, first taught to me by Jim Twentyman, oh my goodness, probably 40 years ago before I knew about 10% of what I know now, but it still is valuable to this day. It's a number that repeats over and over again. It has to do with something like the DNA of the trading module. Now, with the S&P 500, which is one of the most uh, active things in the world, we've been watching these harmonic number since they started trading it back in uh, April, April the 16th of 1982, and we know that the harmonic numbers that appear the most are 5.5 points and 3.5 points. So the best way to show this is just to go down and find something here from 240, and you want to go up to, to 5.5 points, which would be right about here, and that's the harmonic number uh, in the uh, that's the primary harmonic number. The other one is 350, which would take you up to here. But let's just go with this one. We'll just go back and show you, you know, what you're looking at. There it is once. Uh, there it is again. 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 And there it is again. Here it misses, it only does a 350. So, and sometimes what it'll do is like on this one here, you'll notice that the market went uh, uh, twice as much. And so that's what it did is it went two harmonic numbers higher uh, and to get to that point, you'll notice that that's almost exactly what happened. It went to two harmonic numbers. Why this is important is because if you take the harmonic number, that has to be your maximum risk. Because if you go beyond the harmonic number, then there's certainly uh, something's wrong. That's what happened here. You went twice the harmonic number. So the harmonic number is good for two things. One, you watch for the repetition that you see, and then you also watch to see if it exceeds, you know, its number. In other words, it, it'll go either. Uh, 1.27 or 1.618 or like this case two times so that's what you have to do now you've got to practice this a little bit and the best way to do it is to do the exercise just like I did and I happen to know that 540 has never changed five and a half points has never changed in the S&P even on crazy days it's still 540 uh, this is not a crazy day but you can go back and prove it yourself and you'll see. And the secondary harmonic number in the S&P is 350 points. So you go from 240 up to 24350, and that's the second one. And you'll look at that. And if you look at this, you'll notice that this one is 61% of that one. So that's how this all fits together. You've got to prove it to yourself, but you know, basically get down, you know, and understand, you know, that these A, B, C, D patterns repeat over and over again. You know, they're they're just like magic, and what you've got to do, well, they're not like magic, but they repeat over and over again, and that's what you're trying to do. And when they line up with the harmonic numbers, you know, then you have something uh, pretty nice. You'll notice that the last move down here. And a little bit more, about one and a half points more than the 350 level, but uh, that happens. Nothing else you can do about it. But 540, well, 550 is the one you want to watch. That's the main one in the S&P. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless, and I certainly hope this helps.